NYCS budget and a cut to NYPD funding, explained. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below. How much money is the mayor cutting from the budget? The mayor has to close a $9 billion hole, thanks to a stark decline in revenues that the city relies on to operate. Hess closing that gap through cuts to popular programs, like the elimination of the residential composting program, and through tapping some $4 billion from the city's reserves. He also continues to warn of as many as 22,000 municipal worker layoffs, should the state not come through with more borrowing authority, should the federal government not come through with aid, or should municipal unions not come up with alternative labor savings. The budget sharply curtails municipal services. Why are protesters upset by a $1 billion cut to the police department? They say that Mr. de Blasio is merely moving money from one pot to another, that has not slicing enough meat from the department's budget and that has not redirecting enough funding to youth programs. To cite one example, some $400 million of the $1 billion the city is said to be cutting from the police department's $6 billion budget will be achieved by moving school safety officers under the Department of Education. But according to the city's independent budget office, the Education Department already sends the Police Department $300 million a year to operate the school safety program. How else is the city saving money or closing the gap? Among other things, the mayor is cutting $65 million from the Fair Fares program, which subsidizes mass transit for low-income New Yorkers. What's the economic outlook moving forward? Quite bad. The city is draining its reserves, and it's not at all clear when or if New York City's economy will fully rebound. That all depends on our society's ability to contend with the coronavirus and what our experience with the pandemic portents for the future of cities. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below.